Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the chapter 2 and the corresponding topics. Coming to the chapter 2, it deals with the plasticity characteristics of soils. Coming to the contents, we are going to deal with the definition of plasticity of soil and the reason of plasticity. <music> What do you mean by plasticity? The word plasticity when we hear what does you mean? So the plasticity of soil is nothing but it is a property by virtue of which it undergoes a deformation or any change without any crack or fracture or rupture. Plasticity is due to the presence of minerals surrounding the soil solids and water present in adsorbed layer of the soil solids. A plastic soil can also be molded into various shapes when it is in wet condition. Plasticity is very important index property of fine grained soils especially the clay. It is due to the presence of clay. In terms of geotechnical engineering, the plasticity of soil refers to the property of soil to possess the plasticity. That is, it gets deformed without any rupture or breaking under external force. For construction purpose, plasticity of a particular soil is calculated in terms of its moisture content and it is very important property to be calculated. Generally, a thread of fine soil is rolled over a flat or smooth surface. If that thread keeps narrowing down to a much smaller diameter without any cracking, then that soil is termed to have a plastic property or the plastic nature. Generally, the plasticity of soil is measured in terms of its plasticity index, which is the difference between the liquid limit and the plastic limit. We learn in the further slides very detailly about these terms. The plastic limit is defined as a moisture content where the soil thread breaks apart at a narrow diameter of 3.2 mm or 1.8 inch. If this rolled further, the thread starts to crack and it ultimately breaks. Coming to the liquid limit, it is defined as a moisture content at which a clay soil loses its whole plasticity and changes its behavior to a liquid. What do you mean by plastic limit? It is nothing but the moisture content at which a clay soil attains the plasticity property. Coming to the reason of plasticity, we have several reasons like the plasticity of soil is due to the absorption water by the soil. Here what happens is the clay particles are separated by layers of adsorbed water which allow them to slip over one another. When the soil is subjected to deformations or any changes, the particles do not return to the original position with the result that the deformations are plastic. But as the water content of the soil is reduced further, the plasticity of the soil is also reduced. The soil becomes plastic only when it has clay minerals. If the soil contains only non-clay minerals, it would not become plastic, whatever may be the fineness. Thank you.